So, backgammon. Thought I'd better get a bit of background here. All right, here we go. Throughout history, backgammon as a game has been closely linked with aristocracy. And it was only until the 1960s that it truly became a game of the masses. Early writings show that backgammon was popular in different forms in Persia, Greece, Rome, the Far East, and Egypt from 1000 BC or even earlier. Oh, okay, okay, this is interesting. They say here an ancient writing describing the symbolism of the game revealed that the board represents a year. Each side contains 12 points for which represent the months of the year. The 24 points represent the hours in a day. The 30 checkers represent the days of the month. The sum of opposing sides of the die represent the seven days of the week, and the contrasting colors of each set of checkers represent day and night. Hmm. Okay, keep up. The Romans called their version of the game tabula, and it was widely played in Europe in the first century. In fact, tabula was primarily responsible for the gambling mania which swept Rome prior to it being declared illegal under the Republic. Gambling mania. Now, that I would have liked to see. Okay, more recently, the modern rules were modified in 1931 in the U.S. to what generally governs the game today. And, well, the name backgammon, as far as I can work out, no one knows. <laughs> so there you have it.